then I'm going to slow it down and just explain to you why I cannot currently take flip. Yes, it has been a year since I picked up skateboarding and I can't kickflip. Can you spot the common mistake? So step one is the most important part and I need you to listen to this because it's really important. If you're inside right now, go to the skate park. Unless it's raining, then you know, if you're just watching videos to meditate on stuff, that's fine. But if you're trying to learn a trick and you're just watching videos, you're probably wasting your time. So just download this video onto your phone or pause it or save it for watch later and go to the skate park and watch the video at the skate park. Step two is don't be too hard on yourself if you can't land it. Yeah, you probably won't be able to land it for a while. Um, and that's just the way it is. Some people have a really long, long, long history of trying to do it and they can't do it. And uh, I was one of those people. And the thing is, you need to sort your problems out by just brute forcing it pretty much. It's pretty much all you can do. Uh, step three, and uh, after this one we'll move on to actual, like, help. Step three is to film yourself kickflipping and watch it. You've probably heard it in tutorials before, but if you have a problem, film it and you can share it with people and people can see exactly what you're doing with your feet. You can see exactly what you're doing wrong. You can even do some self-diagnosis. And uh, learning to apply that to improving your tricks is very difficult, but it's doable. Now the reason people always say that kickflips are a fundamental trick and that once you get them, skateboarding gets so much easier, and this is going into step four, is because when you kickflip, you do this thing with your body which you haven't learned up until this point. And the thing that I'm talking about is weight distribution. Now this is really important. Okay, so if you're with me, now you should be at the skate park with your skateboard and you should be trying some kickflips or trying some stationary stance or whatever. But basically, what I want you to do is practice this thing with me, which is why kickflips are fundamental in skateboarding. Because when you figure out how to do them right, it teaches you the proper weight distribution in order to land most tricks, if not every trick. Now when you're doing front shoves and pop shoves, your weight distribution doesn't really matter because it's just a matter of throwing the skateboard and jumping onto it, right? Kickflip is the first trick where it matters what you do with your body weight. So this is what I want you to do. Stand on your board in your normal stance. I know, my phone. My, I'm looking at my phone because that's the only way I can see the screen. Stand on your board in the normal stance and bend down at the knees so you're completely central. Now what I want you to do is to lean forward a little bit so your weight's on your front foot and you can almost feel it here that you're putting your weight on this leg, right? This is your front leg. Now lean back and have your weight over your back leg, almost as if you could stand like that. Now why the hell am I talking about that? That, that just seems weird. That just seems strange. When you kick flip, you have a tendency, because you're focusing on the flip, to think, I have to put my weight over this foot. Now look at the way I'm standing right now. I'm bent over. This is a problem I have and I have had for a really long time. I've solved it, but I still do it out of habit every now and then. If you bend down like this and put your weight on your front foot when you try to kick flip, you're going to do that. And that will happen every single time. What you need to do, and uh, excuse me, I'm probably not going to do this stationary because you should never practice tricks stationary because... Just because of physics, it's harder. Try it moving, even if you're scared, just even if it's slow. But what you want to do is you want to stand with your weight back. See how much more natural that looks. I'm looking at myself on the screen. I know I'm not looking at the camera, but see how much more natural it looks for me to stand like this. Now, the way I'm doing it is now I have my weight on my back foot and it almost feels like I'm about to do a little manual, almost. See, I can lift it up and uh, all my weight's on my back foot. My front foot is just there. Now when you try and do a trick like this, with your weight back, what that should do, is it should force your front foot up in the air. Like that. Now you see, obviously I didn't land it because I hate doing kickflips stationary. I think the worst thing you can do is practice it stationary. If I put my weight back, it goes under me. 
Now why is that, you may think? And it's because when you're leaning back, you jump. It kind of forces your leg up in the air. So I tried all manner of pulling my knee up or whatever and stuff like that. But what it was, was I when I tried to kickflip, I was leaning all my weight on my front foot. And every time I tried it, I would do that. Now you watch Ben Yeager Thomas and um, Jill Flower or Fleur, I don't know, I know she's French, it could be Fleur, Bill, uh, Jill the Fleur, <laughs> Bill, and uh, you'll notice that in all of her attempts, and in all of Ben's attempts, it's like this, and the reason it's like that is because he's thinking about the flick and he's putting all of his weight on his foot because he thinks that's how you get the flick, really what you could do is lean your weight back and you can just kick upwards, like this. I didn't even land that, but my feet were above the board. So that's what I want you to do, is I want you to practice doing it like this. So you're like, leaning back with your weight on the back foot. I know it's a convoluted explanation, but this is what helps. And that's how you land it. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's that problem. Any other problem where it's not flicking or anything like that, is just practice. If it's not flipping, you just need to practice it more. Because <laughs> eventually you'll figure it out. You need to fiddle around with your foot placement. Put it way back if you want, put it way forward. Put it really sideways. It doesn't matter, just experiment. But make sure to lean back. It's almost as if you're standing up on this leg. It's almost as if you're, like I said, it's almost as if you're doing that. See if you're standing up on one leg. And what that should do is if you, if you stay like this all the way through, even when you're jumping, it should force your leg up in the air and it should almost be like this. And you don't want super ultra mega awesome high kickflips when you're learning. You just want to do that. Because if you can flick it and land like that, then you'll land it. I guarantee you. That's how you learn to catch as well. You just jump higher. But like, see there, I put my weight forward. It made me put my foot on the ground. See, I still have the problem. This was the problem that stopped me from doing it for so long. Was that I would lean my weight forward and it would become impossible to land. And uh, yeah, I'm making myself look like a, like I don't know what I'm talking about by not being able to land it, but I can't do it stationary. I'm really bad at doing stationary. Because I think practicing stationary is a bad idea. Right. <laughs> if you apply this whole leaning your weight back and putting it on your back foot, you should really be able to kickflip anything. Like, I kickflip up this curb just applying the same logic, and uh, recently I also learned how to double kickflip, and the reason I learned how to do that was because I applied this weight thing to it. I probably never would have landed it if it weren't for the weight thing. So just keep your weight back, be heavy on your back foot, jump backwards a little bit, and you'll get it. I promise you, you will get it. Thank you for watching. And go freaking skate! Go skate or I will kill you. Go skate or you will die.